Welcome everyone! In this video, we are going to solve one example using Simpson's rule to evaluate the area under a curve. Simpson's rule is a numerical method that approximates the value of a definite integral of any function that you want. And here is how it works. We have this formula, s sub n, integral from a to b, f of x dx, equals 2. So you take delta x and you divide it by 3, and then you multiply by the sum of f of x sub 0 plus 4 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times f of x sub 2 plus 4 times f of x sub 3. And you see the patterns 4, 2, 4, 2. And you end with... 4 times f of x and minus 1 plus f of x sub n. Keep in mind that we do not multiply the first and the last term by any number. We just multiply what's in the middle by this pattern. So we have 1, we have 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. And we end with 4 and then 1. Now Simpson's rule will only work if n is even number. So n has got to be even. So for delta x, we have b minus a over n. b and a are from the integral and n is given in the example. Now let's work through our problem. What we're going to do is we're going to approximate the integral from 0 to 2 x cubed dx when n is equal to 4 sub intervals. So for delta x we will have b minus a or in our case is 2 minus 0 over n which is 4 which equals to 2 over 4, or simply 1 half. Now we need to figure out our x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, etc. I will write it like this. So we start with x sub 0. What is x sub 0? x sub 0 will always be a. In our case, it is 0. Next, what is x sub 1? x sub 1 is 1 half. What we do is, we just keep adding delta x. So we start with a, which is 0, and then we add 1 half, and we have 1 half here. So for x sub 2, we have 1 half plus delta x, which is 1 half. We have 2 over 2, or simply 1. For x sub 3, we have 1 plus 1 half equals 3 over, sorry about that, three over two, and for x sub four we have three over two plus one half equals two four over two or simply two. So you see we've started with a from the integral which is 0 and we have ended with x sub 4 which is 2 or b. So our integral will, will be approximated like this. I will write it like this. So we have x, we have s sub n or in our case s sub 4 equals 2. For delta x, we have 1 half or simply 0 0.5 over 3. And then for f of x sub 0, I will just plug these numbers that I've got here. 1, 0, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, and 2. So we have f of 0 plus 4 times f for x sub 1, we have 1 half plus 2 times f of 1 plus 4 times of f 3 over 2 
C3 over 2 plus F of 2. So you remember that we do not multiply the first and the last term by any number. And you see that we have started with nothing. We have ended with nothing. We started here with 4. We have ended here with, with 4. Now we look at our definite integral. And we can see that f of x is x cubed. And what we do next is we plug the numbers at the place of x. So we have s sub 4 equals 0 0.5 over 3 and now we have 0 here if I plug the number here we will have 0 cubed plus 4 times 1 half cubed plus 2 times 1 cubed plus 4 times 3 over 2 cubed plus 2 cubed. If we calculate this, we'll get an approximation of 4. That is the approximate area under a curve and that is how we do the Simpsons rule. Thanks for watching.